Good evening. I'm sitting out here on the front porch this beautiful fall evening uh, with my friend uh, praying mantis over there on the wall. Um, I love the fall. It's such a, a just a gorgeous time of year with the cooler weather and the beautiful colors. And of course, because it's not so hot, you can cook more. So one of the things I'm enjoying making right now are um, root vegetables. And I have a recipe for herbed, herbed root vegetables. <laughs> Try to say that 10 times, um, which is really delicious and really easy and uh, looks really pretty. So enjoy. <laughs> well, here I am ready to get started. I have my ingredients. I love to use these uh, multicolored carrots when I make this. It's not necessary, but I, I do love the the pretty variations. Um, the fall the fall colors for this seems appropriate. I also have a yam, which will be orange when it's opened up and cut up. I got a sweet potato, one of them, which I think will be white inside. I have a bunch of potatoes. I don't know if I'm going to use all these potatoes, but I thought I'd pull them out anyway. And I'll use a few slices of onion. So I'm going to get started by washing down everything. Um, I'll be peeling um, peeling these two items, the sweet potato and the potato, and I'm just going to wash the potatoes and um, cut them up as is because the peels don't bother me. Here we are, good to go. I've already put a couple chunks of onion in the bowl and everything else has been washed. And basically what I'm gonna do right now is just cut everything up into fairly equal sizes. So I'm gonna start with my carrots because they're the easiest and just uh, start chopping. Well, here it is, a nice big bowl of uh, vegetables and potatoes. I ended up not using all the potatoes. I think I used all but one. And again, the proportion you use is up to you. I like to have uh, I like to have it a little heavy on the potatoes so it's real filling also. But it sure looks pretty, doesn't it? For seasoning, I like to use rosemary. I usually like to use a little bit more than this, but I, I forgot to pick and dry some from the garden these last couple days, so this will have to do. Um, some dill wheat, thyme, salt, and minced garlic. You can use fresh garlic as well. I'm gonna go ahead and throw <laughs> the rest of my rosemary on there. I may add a little bit of fresh, as I said. Um, some dill. I'm really an eyeballer here, so I don't know if I had to say maybe half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of each, depending on your flavor profile, maybe half a teaspoon, not sure. There's a lot of veggies. Uh, and the thyme, we just put the dill in. Minced garlic. and some salt. I got the salt at the Dollar Tree and I have to be kind of careful because the holes are so big. Sometimes I over salt things. I'm gonna be real careful with the salt. There we go. I'm gonna mix this up, see how it looks and uh, see if I need to add any more. It looks about right and everything looks coated with uh, herbs. So I'm gonna add some some olive oil to finish it up and stir that up and make sure it's coated with olive oil as well. I think that looks spectacular and it smells really good too. The olive oil and the herbs have really, um, it just smells wonderful. <laughs> so I'm going to set a little bit of this aside for me to have at home and the rest I'm going to cover up with some um, plastic wrap and take with me to my kid's house where I'll cook it up with some, um, with some chicken. All right, here are my veggies. I took part of these to my kids yesterday and the rest I um, left here in the refrigerator overnight. As you can see, they didn't discolor. The potatoes look great. And um, I'm gonna put them right here on, the, on my cast iron tray. You can roast them on anything you want. I just happen to like using this cast iron griddle. It 
fits just perfectly in my oven and um, it's just what I use for, for roasting. There we go. I'm gonna put this in at 400 and uh, I'll take it out when, um, when the uh, vegetables are nice and soft. Usually the carrots are the last to go. Well, here they are right out of the oven. They're soft and nice. I stuck a fork in a couple of the different um, different veggies to make sure they were all um, nicely roasted. Again, at 400 degrees, anywhere between 20 minutes to 40 minutes, depending on your oven and the size of your veggies. This is just a portion of the amount that I made um, the other day, yesterday. As you know, as I mentioned, I took most of it to my kids to eat with chicken, but this is the part that I kept back for myself to have today for lunch. So anyway, as you can see, it's just so beautiful, all the colors, and it sure is good. It smells wonderful. Anyway, happy cooking, and uh, thank you so much for watching.